Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today is a request from a friend of mine. Um, she has actually been wanting me to try to make some pasta e fagioli from Olive Garden. So this is kind of a copycat recipe that we are hoping works out because she has been craving it. And since most Olive Gardens are shut down right now, we are hoping that this meets her craving because she's got a little one on the way and this is just a safer alternative. So without further ado, let's try to recreate Olive Garden's pasta e fagioli. You ready for this? Let's go. All right, when I first started researching these recipes, um, I didn't realize how relatively easy this all comes together. So it's one pot, um, my noodles are already cooked and ready to go. And basically we're just gonna throw it all together. So if this tastes even half as good as Olive Garden, I don't know why more people aren't making it at home. So I've gone ahead and heated up my stock pot right here and we're just gonna hit it with some olive oil. And then we are gonna get in our pound of ground beef. And we're gonna cook this ground beef until it is completely cooked through. All right, that looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that beef out of the pot and we are gonna reserve it in another little dish just for a little while. We'll add it back in in just a few minutes after some of our other veggies are cooked. And as you can see, my beef was not very fatty, so I don't have much anything to drain off. All right, so we're gonna add back in about a tablespoon of oil and I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then I'm gonna get my onions, my celery and my carrots in. And I'm going to saute those for about six minutes. I love recipes that have times because then I, there's no guesswork. I'm like, okay, in six minutes, I'm gonna do my next step. So I'm watching the timer. I'm like, okay, I've got one minute to go. So no guesswork here. It's very nice. I mean, you know, sometimes they're like, okay, until soft. And you're like, well, I consider that soft. Do you consider it soft? I don't know. I guess it's soft to me. Is it soft to you? I don't know. Is it universal? I don't know. Cause you know, one man's al dente is another man's too hard. All right, it's been six minutes. And now we're going to add our garlic and we're just gonna stir it in for one additional minute because we don't wanna burn garlic. Burnt garlic tastes very bitter. So we're just barely like cooking it just a tiny bit. All right, now we are gonna add our chicken broth, our tomato sauce, our canned tomatoes, and it looks like all of our seasonings. So we have sugar, dried basil, marjoram, oregano, thyme, and then we are gonna add back in our cooked beef. Let's give that a good stir. All right, now it says we are to bring this to a simmer cover it and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes or until our veggies are soft. I know I just had a little rant about what that means to be soft, but I'll just go by my liking and I'll call it done at that point. So let's get it to a simmer and then we'll cover it and we'll do as we're asked. Ooh, let me just tell you what, this smells fantastic. I am already blown away by the scent, the fragrances that are coming up from this pot are out of this world. So I have high hopes, real high hopes. Okay. I'm not going to stick around and make you watch a pot simmer. So I will be back when this is done simmering after 20 minutes 
and then I'll add that all together and then we'll, we'll taste because this is added in for one minute and then it's time to taste it. So I'll be back. Okay, the time is up. Let's get this off. We will taste our veggies, make sure they are soft. Yeah, they're soft. Now we are gonna go ahead and add our great northern beans and our kidney beans and stir those in. And our one cup of ditalini. All right, and we're just gonna cook this for one more minute and then we are done. Now, I know some of you are saying right now, Hey, are those gluten-free noodles? They are not. But I'm not sensitive to gluten as much of a, as a celiac is. I will just eat around the pasta. Everybody else, my friend will totally enjoy the pasta. My family will totally enjoy the pasta. I'm not worried about it. I just won't eat the pasta itself. Okay, it's been a minute. So, Let's dig out some of our beautiful pasta fagioli from Olive Garden Copycat Recipe. Wow, look at that. If I didn't know, I would say that was from Olive Garden, huh? Looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna sprinkle with some Parmesan because of course, just like Olive Garden, sound effects are free then we're gonna taste and it's gonna it's gonna be hot it's gonna be very hot I'm gonna try to hold the bowl close so that I can taste oh dear that's a hot bowl let's hold it like this I'm just looking for it here we go you know what I didn't do I didn't salt or pepper my broth at all. Now, I say that now because I'm like, this is really good, but it's lacking salt. And then all of a sudden I'm like, ding, I forgot to salt and pepper it. The directions didn't say to salt and pepper. So don't forget to salt and pepper your soup now. So much better. Yes. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. Now, I have never had the pasta e fagioli at Olive Garden. But that could be it. Um, it does really have, for how long? we cooked it for it really does have a good um depth of flavor super hearty i would definitely make that again that was easy enough and the veggies are just soft enough mm. yep that's a winner um what would I do differently? I don't know that I would do anything differently for my family. If I was to make it again for me, I would find a gluten-free pasta. Um, but other than that, this is a good recipe. Um, just make sure you salt your broth ahead of time, whenever it says to, back when you were adding in your salt, your all of your spices. Um, it just said salt and pepper to taste. I thought about it while I was adding everything in, but since I didn't have it out here with my mise en place, I didn't do it, so that's my bad. Um, but that's kind of how it goes whenever you're an everyday cook and you're trying to remember all the things for the camera, but oh well. So that's it, you guys. If you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week, so if you're looking for the next adventure, join me. And if you have one, that you wanna see me do, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna take this with me because it's now dinner time. Bye guys.
Mmm.